Welcome to the webinar on uh, IoT and your jobs and market in India by TBIP International, TBIPI.com. My name is Anshu Pandey and uh, I'll be the host for this uh, evening S1 hour for this topic. I'm with you. I'm a technical consultant on uh, you know, things, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and have been heading into the space from last uh, few plus years with a couple of companies, including uh, big MNCs and a couple of startups from Bangalore as well into IoT sector. So let's go ahead and uh, begin with the session today. So the topic is uh, you, your job, India and IoT. Where do you stand today and uh, what is the job trend today and what will be the job trend tomorrow? What is the possibility in, in India regarding the job trends and uh, what are the technologies that are going to affect you and your skills and you can say your capability your jobs your pay scale and all and how iot is one of those technology and how iot is going to give that sort of impact so that's what the topic for the day is let's begin at any point of time if you have any questions so far you can just drop me the question chat box we'll discuss the questions as well so keep on posting your questions as much as possible that will make you more interact uh, stay more interactive and uh, that will make us stay more synchronized and connected so let's begin. It is uh, estimated or, and, and it is uh, said by a couple of research firms, like one of the research uh, output I have shown into this particular slide that is for, by HFS research, that uh, in next coming five years, most of the job, which are just a routine job, which even a computer can do if a computer is somewhat intelligent, compared to humans are going to be extincted. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science is going to take all the routine jobs in India and throughout the world in next three to four years. The routine job could be, let's say that uh, you might have seen some people providing electric bills to the door to door from electric bill company. Those are simple routine jobs which do not involve any human intelligence. This is a simple routine job or you can say a general purpose intelligence it uses. And the variety on millions of millions of routine job in India, not only into non IT sector, always also into IT sector as well. IT sector, non IT sector, manufacturing sectors, automobile, and almost every sector, oil and, oil and fields, and uh, medical science, almost in every sector, there are several routine jobs. And those routine jobs are going to be extinct in the next uh, three or four years, or you can say almost in the next five years, half a decade. And the reason behind that is going to be the new technologies, uh, the robotics process automation system backed by artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, data analysis, software automation. These are something that is going to capture most of the jobs. And uh, it's not something that there's going to be kind of uh, lack of jobs. There are going to be job again coming up in next five years, but uh, those will be into different sectors. So what is required here for a general IT and non IT professional in India is to stay skilled. So one of the prediction is neo technologies are expected to construct uh, jobs, construct job supply in some areas. In July, the research from HFS predicted that India's IT service industry would be would lose around uh, 6.4 lakh low skill jobs to automation in next five years. And the report also stated that uh, the low skill jobs will be falling by 30 percent. Some medium skill jobs will be falling by 8 percent and high skill jobs will rise by 56 percent and this is the standard and this is on an average you will find the similar uh, assumption predictions and uh, you can say similar analysis research output by not only hfs even if you go to check out the research and you can see analysis by gartner jp morgan mckinsky and nascom and similar there are all institutions throughout the world in india as well there are similar predictions the reason is because uh, we people, we humans are now more connected because of uh, concurrent revolutions in technology happened in past five to eight years. In past five to eight years, India has seen around smartphone revolutions, computer revolution, and both revolutions overlapped each other. And that has also created more connected internet revolution. And that has created around uh, a million of startups buzzing up in India. And all of startups we even know like uh, Paytm, Flipkart, Redbus, Make My Trip, and all these companies, they have started in the last one decade. 
and they could grow with a very high growth rate the only reason is because of more connected india reach of smartphones reach of internet in every corner of the country and that was the only reason that made all this company could grow at a very higher scale and all these companies the it companies have created again a big uh, market but that has again extincted a lot of jobs in into india those were simple you can say low skilled jobs where you don't need any kind of skills you just need to go from uh, office and uh, distribute some papers on door to door no skills you need but those kind of jobs not not even in only non it sector in it sector as well you go to office and just create an excel sheet for something or just create some record and drop some mails again automation cron jobs all those stuff are going to take all these jobs it has even taken up so where is the new opportunity going to come up is now the new opportunity is going to come up into new technologies the new technologies involves blockchain it involves artificial intelligence machine learning data science data analytics iot is one of them as well there are even several others as well into this sector we we are actually so where the average india is or you can say average indian it professional is so average indian it professional is targeting or you can say trying to touch the new opportunity in last uh, two years india indian it sector has seen maximum transformation or you can say job switches or technology switches technology shifting because what is going to new come up is more attractive in terms of uh, financial manner opportunities and growth and that's the reason uh, this uh, the flow of this technology and adoption is i mean uh, that's the reason why because of adoption of this technology is making this sort of new environment so in next uh, couple of slides we are going to analyze the reason behind this why this is happening and uh, you i don't want you to believe on my words i don't want you to believe on my predictions and on my slides i just want you to relate whatever we are uh, going to discuss is it how does that ma match with reality part and uh, how much correct it is so that's very simple logic you can even uh, relate that part as well so we're going to now see couple of predictions by a couple of big uh, giants uh, so one of the prediction by forbes uh, for, says that uh, like this is a foster research that uh, the new business opportunities or you can say the growth in the business some of the growth in the business so because of iot like this is somewhat kind, kind of you can say bit more related to iot prediction part but uh, yeah before this let's let's check into this uh, gartner prediction so according to gartner's uh, this is the gartner job cycle like which are the jobs which are going to be high paying in next uh, couple of years around 5 to 10 years so in 5 to 10 years if you check uh, we having something like uh, this is 3d biofortiking and uh, biochips autonomous vehicles perspective analysis a part of machine learning artificial intelligence okay effective computing smart computing electro vibration and here you go with on the peak with big data natural language processing a part of ai itself consumer 3d printing gamification wearable user interfaces part of iot ecosystem complex event processing content analytics so these are a couple of jobs which are going to be high paying in next 5 years okay in next five more than 10 years what is going to stay in next more than 10 years so one of them on the top notch you can find is iot which is going to stay more than 10 years neuro business up to some extent human augmentation brain computer interface volumetric and uh, holographic displays up to some extent smart dust and uh, bioacoustic sensing mesh network of sensors okay Two to five years, you have some NFC, cloud computing, in-memory database management, virtual assistants. This is something that. So you see, most of the technologies which are going to stay and which are going to shine and which are going to pay you highest package in next coming years, five years and five to ten years, are all new technologies. So you can say the revolution. This is something not very new. You can say IoT and not even AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Not not none of them are new. It's just they are more visible now. they are more uh, the technology is more available now you can say earlier this technology was not available so there are a couple of reasons because of that it was not available like big data data science ai is not now something new it is now more available more, now more visible the only reason is the platforms which we need to run ai algorithms data science the big data platforms is now available the smart computers the super computers the fast computers are now available why iot was not there in past years the reason is 
cheap sensors, local sensors, acoustic media. I mean, you can say overall internet coverage connectivity is now available, and that's the reason these are some fields which are now highest growing one. So according to Gartner, these are a couple of technologies on the peak we have, uh, including IoT and big data and related to AI products, uh, which are going to pay you high and which are going to be the highest employing technologies. And if you are not into any of them, if you are not into uh, even vicinity of any of these technologies, you may want, you may need to reskill yourself in next five years to touch the trend. Coming back to the power of IoT, which is uh, going to be the focus of uh, the seminar today. In IoT, if we talk about analyze like this slide, we are going to come up again. So, which are the fields in which uh, you're going to get IoT jobs? So, IoT like telco connectivity is one of the most uh, trending field you can say again here you have some prediction like uh, which is going to be more than 10 years and uh, 5 10 years 1 to 3 years 3 to 5 years so if you talk about 3 to 5 years 5 to 10 years itself so we have uh, business applications of iot edge devices iot devices operating systems local networking we have so these are a couple of fields which are going to be Kind of uh, more paying, you can say, or uh, more visible in next uh, five to ten years, or three to five years, five to ten years, probably. Some of them are going to be like uh, one to three years IoT security because security one established like it's not going to be a big deal. But yeah, currently like people think that security is one of the big threat. Yes, it is even one of the big threat. But yeah, a lot of development is going on. A lot of development is, has already happened, which is not, uh, I mean, which is making security not a big concern for IoT development, IoT ecosystem growth. So there's a couple of analysis that shows that uh, there's something. Okay, this is not again my analysis. These are all big giants. That there's something that is yes, new technologies are going to take up a lot of uh, space into the current job market of the country and of the world as well. And now next thing that we're going to analyze like why IoT, which is the focus of the webinar, this is going to be one of the important technology or important field providing and creating more jobs. Yeah, it was a prediction for but uh, it is the prediction for mo next five to ten years and ten more than ten years So it is even applicable now You can say this uh, this poster is by 2k16 and this is the like prediction from la uh, like, like uh, it has been passed uh, Two years back around three years back. So the prediction is for uh, more than ten years and uh, why we still take it in India because uh, like this was the prediction for the complete full world But uh, why we still take in India because the technology enters around uh, three or four years late in India So the, when something has already happened into the most of the Western countries, we are starting with that IOTs and uh, the space of big data analytics machine learning is already It's already you can say Matching up or you can say it's already booming up have a big buzz in Western countries and we have just started learning that we have just started entering into that and the ecosystem has just started being created even we are not having the complete ecosystem for IoT so that's just started so this is the prediction of 2002 get 13 you can say but uh, uh, Still it is uh, going to happen in India like uh, we will consider the more than 10 years part and If you consider the India's growth rate compared to the Western growth rate, so this is going to be uh, there's a question that can you suggest the path of learning list of tools for beginners? Yeah, that part we're gonna cover up into the last part into the last uh, slides of uh, This session today. So at the end we're gonna check out like what are the skills that you need to be an IoT develop into the market Okay, now next part uh, is uh, the industry 4.0 like uh, what exactly is industry 4.0 and uh, how IoT is a part of it and uh, Where we are into that so this is again going to make you clear that uh, the idea of 2k 13 why we are taking that So if you talk about uh, the next big thing in India like uh, this is the slide taken from one of the CEO console uh, conclave and uh, around three months back So According to mr. Ray Bingham that uh, the next big thing into the world and uh, also into India is the a trillion small things that a trillion connected things a trillion IOT things 
the industrial age started 1.0 with steam engine and then we went up to the mass production of uh, electronic components or equipments and then we come to information age that is uh, the industry 3.0 it world and internet all this is industry 3.0 industry 4.0 is going to be intelligence age the connected age so industry 4.0 is composed of ai machine learning predictions iot well it is mostly composed of ai and machine learning but why iot is one of the biggest reason that part also we're going to cover up into next slides why iot is going to be the biggest reason behind this part is going to be that part also we're going to cover up into next slide because uh, iot is something that is going to power up ai and machine learning for most of the industries into india and uh, across the world as well so industry 4.0 composed of intelligence age where we are less into automation currently even in india we are still into industry 3.0 or we are uh, wrangling around this part i mean this stage but uh, a shift has been moved and we are still uh, you can say we have reached onto this place i mean onto this part of it on this part of it and uh, we are just heading towards 4.0 so industry 4.0 is going to be intelligent in scenario where uh, all of devices do have their sort of intelligence and requires less human intervention to that and you can say most smart devices smart world smart city smart homes smart equipments smart connected cars smart decision making objects or you can say gadgets machines physical objects around us and that can be powered with a combination of couple of technologies and iot one of the iot is one of the key core point into that so i'll signify you can say i'll uh, prove my the statement into a couple of slides so this is all about industry 4.0 which is uh, we are shifting from the software automation to intelligent automation you can say or intelligent scenario intelligent more connected world or intelligent gadgets machines the transformation is like uh, currently what what is making that transformation or you can say revolution in 4.0 so smart production connectivity mobility you can say smart connected world connected cars connected automobiles retail smart decision making using big data the technology enormous of technology into medical science healthcare systems is one of the big revolution which is going to revolutionize completely the healthcare world smart logistic the ed education technology home automation so these are a couple of uh, fields which are going to be revolutionized because of uh, the physical environment of devices and digital environment of uh, systems and biological environment so these are a couple of fields which are going to completely revolutionize in next uh, 5 to 10 years so what is going to make that possible is uh, the important thing that is going to make that possible is data the important thing on which uh, most of the companies like if i talk about uh, the top growing companies in india into india india which we know of so there are a couple of growing you can say there are a couple of high revenue generating companies there are a lot of high revenue generating companies but if you talk about the comparison based on the amount of uh, consumers the number of consumers the amount of uh, you can say investment made into the business and amount of output the growth rate in out of the business so the top growing companies in india could be if i say like uh, the companies including it companies like amazon in dot in and uh, flipkart snapdeal paytm and uh, red bus make my trip so these are a couple of like patanjali is one of them being known it company in new startups if talk about in new startups so these are a couple of growing company and even compared to the growth rate uh, with if you calculate growth rate based on the amount of investment made in amount of uh, output generated and the number of user base it companies are one of the leading one even in the throughout the world if you talk about uh, according the growth rate of uh, the companies including like complaining all the companies across the world so google facebook and all these companies are again growing up the reason is because uh, most of these companies even non it companies which are growing with a high skill the reason is the business model of most of these companies is data driven model for example if you search something on google and uh, till next two days and three days you keep on getting advertisement related to that part for example if i search for a shoe on amazon till next three days i'll be getting advertisement related to shoe why does that happen because anytime i go to google and i anytime i go to amazon search for any product they take my data when i connect to internet when i search for any product i create data when all of us connect to internet we search something we do something we connect to our friends we talk to our friends we create data facebook analyzes all of data of that we create on social networks based on that it analyzes what kind of so interest that we are having based on that it keeps on showing us product and services from other vendors or third party vendors to us 
and that's how it earns Google business data driven model Amazon Flipkart all e-commerce online service providing company their business model is completely data driven model and be because of data driven model of business by just applying less amount of investment less amount of monetary they are able to generate high amount of monetary you can say they are able to generate high amount of growth rate data driven model is going to make your marketing i mean that's what is already making the marketing of business the opportunities the customer connectivity the customer service providing customer satisfaction more easy more convenient and more you can say efficient and that's the reason like one of the statement by uh, mukesh sambani like made in this year itself says that data is the next oil which is going to make uh, most of the industries run and uh, even like one of the statement made by the official from ibm that was uh, in next 5 years cars when you go to buy a car you will not be judging a car by the quality of the engine you will be judging a car by the quality of software used in the car because the software it and data is going to be next big oil which is going to drive almost all the system almost all the businesses so that that part is almost you can say we have been working with the oil wells and all this production now we from pump most of the industries runs and you can say automobile and uh, automobile is a kind of sector which is one of the back end for 80% of the industry in the world but uh, that part is getting revolutionized now data is going to be the next big thing which is going to revolutionize or you can say change the complete it and non it world okay so important idea is all the it companies are able to take benefit of data or the it companies whenever we we humans those companies which provide services to we humans like for example if i travel from bangalore to hyderabad or bangalore to delhi i keep on showing a treatment related to flight back ticket from bang had uh, delhi to bangalore and even hotels in delhi i keep on getting that those sort of advertisement because the my my service providers track my data they understand that yes i'm traveling from here to there i might need service from back delhi to back from delhi to bangalore even my recharge gets finished the before i think of it like getting the recharge i get a message from a lot of service providers that yes your recharge cycle is going to finish up and you should get your recharge new because they track my data everything that uh, we are connecting we access services from online when when those cycles are going to end up and when we are going to need that part before that the systems running on there predict that yes the customer is going to need this particular service whenever if you have two credit cards and your credit card uh, limit is going to end up the third credit card service provider might approach you at that time this is already happening in india whenever we are accessing any of the connected services we create data when we create data all these companies are analyzing data and they are driving their business based on data driven model of business only online companies are capable of doing this currently an iot is something that is going to make internet of things it means that's going to connect devices gadgets physical objects machines around us to internet and that's going to make this make uh, all the gadgets not only humans currently we humans access internet we do social networking we do access services from internet we do create information we do gather information currently we humans have most of the access to internet iot is going to make devices physical objects machines around us to connect to internet and not only these it companies because of advent of iot use cases all the non it companies manufacturing companies oem companies the equipment manufacturer companies are going to take leverage of data driven model of business and that is the reason why these companies are more driven into this iot use cases that is the reason why most of the companies are welcoming uh, iot based projects iot based products and they are implementing iot use cases with their products one of the example is uh, like hp connected printers like hp has analyzed the printers market and uh, they have developed i mean designed new generation of printers in that uh, they analyze that if you are into it company like most of the printers are used in in almost sectors of the world they are used let's say that you are in it company or you are currently in an organization with the five floor of building or you can say 20 offices now in 20 offices might be probably you might be using 30 printers or you can say 10 printers 15 printers now if uh, monet, ma managing the cartridge when the cartridge is going to finish up in a particular printer is again a take thing you can say a non productive work a non productive work managing the cartridge of the printer i hope you agree with this if you have around 30 printers in your organization just uh, up, uh, you can say booking a person or you can say making a person to understand and manage the cartridge finishing into every printer is going to be again non productive work that a person is doing 
what HP did is HP connect make all the printers uh, having the connectivity capability and with the allowance of uh, the organization they could connect all the printers uh, with the HP server now any of the printer is going to lack the cartridge next uh, five days or six days before you need that before your cartridge gets finished the HP will send you print a new cartridge to you even if your printer is in warranty before it gets damaged or it is about to damage HP will, HP server is going to collect data all data from that server data collected on that server they are doing predictive maintenance so before it is damaged they'll give you alert to get it maintained or you can say get it serviced they will even if you if your printer is in warranty they will even send you before you call to them they'll send uh, just by booking a slot they'll send you the servicemen to get your printer repaid before it gets damaged so this is how all these offline companies are going to manage are going to monitor how we humans are using their products how we humans are interacting with their products what kind of problems we are facing with the products currently this this uh, sort of service are only provided by online companies only online, online companies are going to are uh, able to you can say monitor manage and uh, analyze all this sort of stuff and uh, into next big thing all these things are going to be managed again going to be monitored by the again going to be monitored by the manufacturing companies online hubs or you can say the old oem companies original equipment manufacturer companies so a lot of uh, portion is a lot of stuff are even even uh, uh, Mahindra and Mahindra has also make uh, like made started uh, this research on connected tractors They are monitoring around thousand tractors in India around Bangalore You can say when uh, this robot boss is also working on connected cars Geo has also work, started working on connected cars even they are about to launch connected car product in next December I mean this December 2017 itself you might get to see a product by Geo of connected cars in which uh, like we already have some uh, DBM OBM port like we'll be looking at that next slide so using that OBM port Geo is going to launch a connected car service. So there are a couple of products that all the I mean all the companies are working into this and Why these companies are meant toward this why these companies are going to you can say are, are going to take this particular leverage is because of the data driven model of the business to adapt the data driven model of the business to market their product in a better way currently all the manufacturing companies do not take uh, you can say kind of uh, feedback or kind of uh, report from uh, the original users those who the consumers we we are the consumers they don't take uh, benefit from i mean the input from us because of inventory of iot they'll be able to always get uh, you can say real time data or you can say real time response from their users and that is one of the reason why iot is going to be adopted and uh, it's going to be a big thing adopted by next uh, I mean a lot of companies and uh, industries in the next five to ten years so not only these like there's a couple of I mean HP is one of the only one example that I shared there are a lot of other examples uh, the way people are working towards this like geo robot Bosque, okay Harman connected cars uh, there are a lot of uh, companies into automobile sector who have started working on connected car system the other companies into home automation based system has started working on home automation based products and services so the the world and the companies organizations startups in the country and outside the country also is moving towards this okay but this is just one reason the data around model of business and that is only for uh, you can say that is only we discussed in respect to this uh, manufacturing companies if you talk about the government government bodies government organizations so for government organization again to manage the complexity into the government bodies like uh, the complex into the system like you can say Indian Railway is again a very big complex system so to manage each and every part and Analyze data get things more connected get more communication happen like uh, one of the tragedy that happened just yesterday That one of the reason behind that was because of lack of communication between things and between people When things would get more complex when uh, the services provided to people get more complex for example when the user base increases You need to increase the complexity of your services the people in your organization and that's what is happening throughout the world In every organization government non-government organization Now to manage all those sort of stuff IOT is going to be one big thing that's going to help you out or help the organization government bodies to manage manage those things in a proper way Okay, one of the example like of, of New Jersey is uh, something like uh, the smart waste management when like uh, that's even being implemented into the Novi Mumbai sort of areas into Novi Mumbai that uh, they are they are managing the waste management waste collection system by just deploying uh, 
by just deploying you can say smart dustbins just attaching level sensor to every dustbin is going to help you out to understand that what is the level of garbage in a particular dustbin and just by connecting all those sort of uh, data to a city waste management system you can analyze that in which area of the city more dust may, more garbage is being collected again the routing of garbage collecting events can be routed on a particular area on a particular society to collect the garbage in a more efficient way rather than routing it to some societies where uh, the garbage collection speed or garbage creation speed is very low so that's how people are more you can say making system more efficient currently most of the systems are rule based systems like uh, routine based systems garbage collection or the uh, timings of uh, every trains flights everything the school timings the road timings everything is routine based systems and all these routine based systems into government bodies and organization is going to again change up based on database or you can say intelligent based systems so iot is not only internet of things it's it can also be called its intelligence of things just by making things connected to internet you're going to give them intelligence because things are creating data by analyzing data you can take more better decisions so iot is uh, one of the words that IoT is is like it's Internet of Things, but uh, it's not just connecting them to the Internet or you can say IoT is not only about just controlling your tube light and everything from your smartphone. It's all about making devices create data the way we humans create data when we connect to Internet, when we access Amazon, when we access Google, when we access Facebook, we always create data. So IoT is all about making the things connect, create data the same way. And now the possibility, if you imagine, you see only because of us, the complete social networking industry is running the complete Facebook, Google, Twitter, LinkedIn. All these big giant companies are only running only only capable of uh, creating that sort of monetization only because we humans access this Internet. We humans use Internet. We humans create data while doing social networking. The complete service based companies, you can say the travel portals, the banking portals, online education, online banking, online traveling, online uh, e-commerce, OK, online servicing photography each and every part online entertainment online gaming all these industries are only running because we humans access internet so you see only because of we humans accessing internet the complete this industry the billion dollar industries has been created and now when next era devices are going to come into internet how much big industry how much big possibility of uh, the new industry is going to be that's what i hope you can imagine easily with this part because again they're going to create data and the companies which are more relevant to those things devices machines gadgets are gonna again be revolutionized and are gonna again change the business model based on uh, like from the current routine based model you can say automation based model to data driven model even the manufacturing speed might again get decided by the amount of requirement of a particular product in a particular area so you can say if there are 10 plants of Maruti suzuki and in in southern india the more demand is for uh, swift desire so in southern india they might increase the rate of uh, production of Swift desire compared to in North India and again they might change that part change that pattern every two months every three months or every four months so you see like uh, this uh, is not a very much logical example because you see like automobile manufacturing is a going to be complex system but yeah in most almost all the tool manufacturing part manufacturing product manufacturing company the production rate the production system again can change and gonna be you can say automated based on the data driven model of business So now the question is, uh, what is IoT? So IoT is all about making the things, devices, machines, objects connected to internet and exchange data, collect data the way we create data. IoT is all about, uh, that's what you had already discussed, making the devices, things, objects, create data. And by 2020, there are gonna be 40 to 80 billion devices connected to internet and that's gonna create a lot of jobs and a lot of business markets. Currently, why IoT is enabled and why IoT is more talkative? The reason is we have cheap sensors, cheap bandwidth, cheap smart processors, smartphones, ubiquitous wireless coverage, big data, everything available around us, and that's going to create, uh, make IoT more capable, more. Uh, I mean, that is going to make, that is what is already making IoT more visible, and the creating the current uh, market of IoT. The sectors in which IoT products are going to range up, so you can, IoT products and IoT business, IoT markets can be divided into two sectors. One of them is going to be industrial IoT, another is consumer IoT. Industrial IoT, we talk about the prospect of smart industries, fleet monitoring, vehicle tracking, smart factories, smart industrial automation, grid, smart grid system, okay, smart machines, smart city development, connected cars, smart automobiles, consumer grade product. It's going to be uh, the smartphone product we already have, smart wearable, smart TV, appliances, homes are already 
Now the products into this sector are already coming up step by step. Smart waste management is one of the option. I mean, uh, the the product smart hydroponic system connect controlling the vehicle statistics. I mean, sorry, controlling the plant statistics of your uh, plant in your home by your smartphone, analyzing data from the sensors, understanding the water requirement of the plant, and again, this can be applied to masses to design smart agriculture system as well. Smart pick and control system, smart lighting, gardening, blood pressure monitoring. IoT industry into I mean IoT into mining industry IoT in mining is one of the you can say One of the biggest uh, Survivor of the oil and mining industry IoT is all about because oil and mining industry is more you can say the minimum connected industry Where people are very less connected most of the work is documentation work or you can say book work So oil and mining industry are one of the fastest uh, One of the fastest adopters of IoT use cases and IoT services Oil and fields mining industry. So these are all like in all these industries IOT use cases IOT services IOT opportunities are increasing Connected cars like uh, geo is designing the connected car product. So by 2020 my sorry by December 2017 itself imagined that into the market even Harman uh, Robert Bosk and all of other companies also started working on this So like this is the OBD cable onboard diagnostic cable that we have in cars So they are designing some geo product uh, like geo Wi-Fi dongle you can connect to this OBD port port in your car So all the cars manufactured after 2013 already have this OBD port into the car and just by collecting data from your car The geo will be able to help you out with to do predictive maintenance to help you out to it will also capture the way you're doing driving And it will help you at the end of the week that this is the way how did you do trash driving and you should not do that It will also mo monitor that uh, on low gear if you're doing trying to increase the speed of your car how different part of your car are performing and how much they can be made better when you need more maintenance and which part of car all those sort of maintenance and system and connected world is is uh, going to be provided by GU and similar other companies also working like uh, Robert Bossy also working on testing all the systems on the highways between Bangalore and Mumbai smart grid is one of the application which is going to make energy more consumed and more more uh, available in low cost Talking about the prospect. This is all about the opportunities in, in, in IOT use cases and the possibilities with IOT So we have seen a couple of possibilities. I mean couple of reasons why IOT is going to shine. So one of the reason is uh, because known IT manufacturing the original equipment manufacturing OEM companies Can take because of IOT use cases. They can take the benefit of data driven model of business The government can manage the systems in a more efficient way Okay, there are a couple of examples like if you discuss it will end up again next three to four hours use case and case study done by different companies and uh, the products used by different companies Talking about in India India is the, one of the biggest opportunity for IOT like India plus IOT is is opportunity The reason is because India has been already the hub of software and IT companies and IT world and serving the complete world in IT part and tomorrow like in if you talk about all the IT companies like uh, all the IT companies uh, if you talk about this uh, IT companies in India TCS we Infosys, as CLS essential cognition This is what one of the biggest IT job provider into into the country What they do is they provide services to non IT companies in India and across the world and tomorrow when all these non IT companies are going to use uh, IOT use cases and IOT products and IOT services Who will be providing services to them is all these IT companies and that's the reason all these IT like the big companies like IBM Amazon or Google Oracle Intel Azure they all started their own IOT platform I've been working IoT Azure, AWS IoT, Google IoT, Oracle IoT, Intel IoT, Azure IoT. Indian companies also started entering into that. Not only this, like more than around uh, thousand companies in India have sh started doing work in IoT space, IoT use cases, IoT products, IoT systems, services. So TCS, SEL, Cognizant, Accenture, Center, Wipro have already started working into IoT use cases and IoT products, IoT platform. They have all started uh, taking IoT products and uh, Working on them into India IOT is one of the big opportunity One of the study by NASCOM says that in India by 2020 we will be having like this is one of the report freely available on NASCOM You can go to this website link and find out this report. So don't believe on my words So one of the reports says that uh, by 2020 the world IOT market is gonna be 200 billion dollar and of that India is gonna share around 15 billion dollar market in next uh, three years four years and uh, There'll be around more than one lakh one sorry ten lakh unfilled 
information communication technology IoT related jobs the reason why it is going to happen so this is again one of the statistics by nascom itself that currently we are 730 million internet users sorry by currently we are around uh, 400 and something million users and by 2020 it's going to reach 70 730 million internet users 75 percent of new users will be from rural areas and uh, 75 percent of the new users is going to consume data in different languages because uh, we in india like we have people in working to different language talking to different languages local languages the compound annual growth rate is going to increase in case of mobile and video content by 83 percent 175 percent million i mean 175 million online shoppers will be there by 2020 and 70 percent of the e-commerce transaction will be done via smartphones 50 percent of the travel transaction will be done by done by internet and this is why this is how the growth of internet is going to be there in next three to four years and if this growth continues the complete ecosystem and uh, the the you can say the environment for iot will be built up okay mr uh, mr gnan uh, we're going to come up to that point mr kumar we're going to come up to that point skills part okay so this is what opportunity we already discussed like this opportunity is why this is uh, again growing up okay and big, because of this opportunity this is the time currently we are facing 2017 and 18 is the best time 16 17 18 these three years are the best time for you to step into this particular business and uh, this particular field the analytics in iot by 2021 will be 40 to 80 billion imagine you can say imagine you can easily imagine how much big opportunity you're gonna have according to the iot job, job trends by indeed uh, like this is the job trend uh, analysis of last uh, like two years back so it was increasing with the exponential rate the iot jobs and currently you, it is even exp increasing with uh, more than this rate as well the current statistics is not available but uh, the statistics of tourism till december 2015 is uh, easily available on the website of indeed so you can visit there and find out the statistics related to iot jobs into the market and this statistics is again exponentially growing you can simply search on the jobs number of jobs available on Nokri and LinkedIn and all those uh, portals related to IoT. It's uh, way high For startups again NASCOM and similar other organization in India are again taking up a lot of steps uh, Collaborating with IIC like they have been center of excellence for IoT has been started by NASCOM into Bangalore to accommodate IoT startups a lot of uh, work is being done by different organizations different uh, NGOs and IT bodies to make startup ecosystem happen to big and even a lot of startups are growing more than like uh, the big companies startups are growing more than more into this iot ecosystem in india and uh, throughout the world as well some of the indian iot companies like sensegaze is working with a couple of products and uh, maven technologies and trip so we don't have much time to discuss the product of these companies uh, but you can just uh, visit uh, link of their these companies and check out their products sensegaze from bengaluru Maven uh, system from Bangalore again and Shopworks from Bangalore entry from Bangalore LT zone from Pune Now the question is what are the skills as an IoT developer you need to have so the couple of skills that you need to have as an IoT developer is uh, you need to have idea of MQTT protocol Coep protocol the current world is backed up with uh, HTTP protocol you need to have idea of the new protocols including MQTT Coep some communication protocols including LoRa LoRa Sigfox NFC's socket programming TCP UDP programming so that you can work on your own protocols and base sockets cloud integration work you need to have idea of working with any of the cloud service provider like AWS IoT Azure IoT IBM Watson and enterprise based application as well that I forgot to include over here which is even like Thingworks by PTC so this is one of the enterprise booming enterprise application which is having high market demand these days like Azure AWS IoT and Azure IoT AWS IoT Ivan Watson is having a lot of big demand these days Okay, these protocols again are some the skills that you need to have when you go as an I mean when you approach any company to work as an IoT developer Sensor interfacing the ID of data generation because sensors are the key point in IoT ecosystem IoT use cases to which are going to be the key data generating point so sensors uh, interfacing and data generation is going to be the focus again So these are a couple of skills that you need to have as an IoT developer when you want to shift yourself into IoT use as an IT industry Okay before that you need to have basic idea of programming and all those stuff is needed like programming languages you need to have like uh, 
top preferred programming languages into IoT use cases is Python, Node.js. All right, and uh, JS again, JavaScript, Node.js again, all together you can see. Java is even slowly booming up into this case uh, because of advent of Java SE 8. Like people have uh, also made Java possible to be used with uh, hardware as well. Okay, earlier it was not that capable. Okay, so this is all uh, about the skills that you need to have idea as I mean skills need to have idea of uh, for shifting yourself into IT use cases IT industry for more uh, you can also for more you can also like uh, Think of visiting a couple of conclaves in next uh, coming here into India like for more details for more information for getting more con connected IoT India Congress 2017 you can uh, you may think of uh, visiting the IoT Symposium, IoT India Ex Expo 2018, IoT Show 2018. So these are a couple of big places where you can explore more, get more connected with industries, more connected with investors if you're a startup. Okay, so start for startups, it is recommended to visit all these places and uh, uh, this, uh, you can say events and participate in that so that you will get more connected with uh, the current world. For even more information, you can uh, connect to us on uh, YouTube you can connect to us on Facebook and uh, you can connect to us on uh, LinkedIn as well to get real-time updates related to IOT jobs and uh, to get real-time updates related to IOT ecosystem and uh, the news related to IOT part So this is where we are uh, done with the basic idea of the part of the day where uh, now you should I hope you should be able to analyze uh, the motive uh, that is uh, you your job India and IOT so now we we can go ahead with the question Q&A session so all of you if you have any questions so far based on what we have analyzed and what we have discussed uh, you can put your question into chat box we can discuss the questions so far and you have raised your hand let me know if you have any questions so far all of you are by default on mute mode so you cannot speak uh, like you, you not be audible if you want me to unmute you you can let me know in You can let me know I can unmute you The course details uh, are available on our website like you can go to the website tbipi.com The course details are available over there Well, it depends like on uh, like there are two modules into this course. It depends on which module we opt uh, on that It depends like JS and node.js will be covered or not generally JS is covered node.js is also covered, but not up to very deep extent JS is covered in a way, better way Predictive and there's a question is predictive analysis required for IoT or not you see like uh, IoT is something which is gonna boom or you can say back up predictive analysis. So predictive analysis depends on IoT Okay, and uh, after once you get things connected once you get data from your things What you need what you can do with that data is predictive analysis perspective analysis Descriptive analysis. So these are a couple of uh, data analytics uh, stuff that you can do Predictive analysis is something that when you talk about uh, Predicting the maintenance time or you can say predicting the the uh, reformation time or reformation of system current system or current machine So predictive maintenance depends or you can separate your analysis uh, analytics depends on IOT because uh, The data that you can get it from machines is uh, is backed by IOT use cases I hope I'm clear Mr. Kumar What are the prospect of uh, embedded engineers into IOT? There's a question that what is the pros what are the prospects of embedded engineers? Uh, embedded engineers are, in the, uh, are expected to design better smart sensors and easy connectivity like you can say if you talk about uh, the layers of IOT architecture that includes like the physical objects and physical devices and machines and sensors and sensors are going to be key data generating point in IOT use cases so as an embedded engineer you need to have more idea into the sensors part getting sensor connected the communication protocols the hardware communication protocols including the uh, the existing wired communication protocols SPI I2C and all these protocols uh, UART protocols wireless Communication protocols the new protocols into IOT use cases including LoRa and Sigfox and NFC's So these are a couple of fields where embedded and hardware related uh, professionals can explore more and 
are already having more opportunities currently if you are into lower X if you are having idea of lower van and all protocol sick folks and all you are gonna have high huge demand on LinkedIn if you just uh, Update your status as on LinkedIn as a low an expert or a sick folk expert. You're gonna get a lot of opportunities every day uh, Mr. Mr. Madan, I hope uh, yeah, I'm audible to you. Let me know I hope I'm audible to you. Let me know Will attending the consortiums will help uh, for job experience as well? Yeah, it will help job experience as well because they're gonna be a lot of startups and a lot of investors So it will help a lot of people like almost people from all the domains whether they're professionals or they're or If you're a professional or if you're an I IOT startup or if you're into any of the field So this is gonna be help you out into that as well Okay, there's a question uh, please highlight like expert in a communication protocol Oh, just let me let me uh, read the question back. Can you please highlight the uh, highlight like uh, what blueprint do we need to make uh, start the IoT business? You see, like for IoT business, what you need to start is first uh, part is where uh, the startups are. For example, if you want to start something like there can be two to three types of business, whether you're making simple product-based business or you're making something service-based business or you're gonna work with uh, kind of. Uh, so B2B kind of self stop B2C kind of stuff if you're working like most of the opportunities are currently and you can say high paying opportunities are currently into B2B where you sub provide services you to businesses currently you see like uh, most of the businesses are uh, where most of the companies in the industry which are into hardware background they are only limited to hardware part the IT companies are limited to IT cloud and analytics part what is the lag is the connectivity part the integration part so most of the new startups which are coming up are into integration part where you where the startups are working on to monetize and you can say Providing services related to connectivity and analysis, predictive maintenance, again integration part, the protocol, software protocols, application layer protocols, uh, like hardware protocols, software protocols, integration of both of them, creating firmware, driver development. These are a couple of service based fields we can work on. Other than that, uh, the blueprint should be you need to analyze like uh, the first step you can say. The first step you can start off with uh, you need to work on analyzing the exact uh, gap into the market like you need to work with the product part where which product you should start with like one of the product i, I was involved into that like uh, uh, the, for the development sake of it so it was uh, it was kind of uh, like creating or designing some devices for uh, security stuff currently like cctv cameras are you can say less i mean just for use for monitoring part so you're working with kind of a uh, intelligent software which we, in which we can make all the cctv cameras connected like do some analysis get the analysis of that data and connect smartphones with that connected other uh, other alarms and burglar alarms and police stations all those stuff with uh, everything like analysis part so that sort of uh, product you can start in uh, the work you can start with uh, in that uh, basically you should if you're if you don't have any kind of idea or uh, the product idea or you can say the business idea we should start with is analyzing the current uh, industry the current industry product or Indian product Indian services non Indian services non Indian products and based on that just after you can say doing some sort of uh, changes into that or you can say just doing some sort of modification into that you can start with pitching your idea to kind of investors if you are already self investors self investor you should start while blindly working with a fixed product and developing that which it has which is going to solve any kind of uh, social problem okay if you don't have uh, the so called investment uh, from backing up from your side then you should start with uh, new ideas new products building teams and then pitching your idea so what is more required for an any kind of startup is uh, first part is your idea or product should be more uh, stronger second is your team should be more stronger and third your motivation your back end work and your proof on that so where you can start is you can start building a team and a product analyzing that and then you can start uh, publicizing yourself in a social media market in a digital media market not in social media digital media market that will make you more visible and then you can easily grab investments into for a particular product or startup uh, this question what does it takes to become an expert in a communication protocol like LoRa, Sigfox and NFC uh, you see like uh, becoming expert into that uh, you don't need to do much thing here like you need to just start working with them interfacing them with a couple of microcontrollers and processor based on processor based systems and uh, 
just integration part you can start putting some uh, like start interacting with uh, some of the other people on linkedin and other websites like uh, who are already doing some work into that and then start working connecting interacting with some companies who have started some doing some work into that and help involve yourself into some other projects so currently there are a lot of opportunities into lora and nfc's into india sigfox a bit low which is going to increase into next year probably first uh, quarter of the 2018 you're going to get more uh, visibility of sigfox into india LoRa is currently having visibility in next uh, till three to four quarters uh, of 2017-18. You're gonna have a lot of opportunities into that. There's a question: How good it would be for three, uh, around 3.5 years experience Java developer? Would it be going to switch? Uh, you see, if you're a Java developer, you don't need to switch. Uh, being a Java developer itself, you can switch to IoT use cases, and you can uh, like you just need to switch the application area of yours. You don't need to switch. You should not switch exactly the software part of use or you can say the strength of use you, java can you should start exploring java for iot use cases and java for analytics part so there are a lot of companies which are currently fed with java and who are using and used to with java it's just you need to have more idea of machine learning artificial intelligence analytics again hardware development sensor interfacing iot connectivity protocol programming with java okay as a system integration integration blueprint uh, mr shah uh, system integration it means uh, you want to integrate like I couldn't can you explore a bit uh, into this? I mean can you explain a bit into more into this? I'll be better able to answer your question uh, This question will just uh, with knowing the protocols as such can you claim ourselves as expert? Uh, no, actually you cannot claim yourself as expert. You need to more work on projects as well. You need to deploy some projects and have some more uh, proven expertise and uh, proficiency into that field Proven proficiency and expertise you can get by just uh, working with some research papers and uh, I mean publishing some research papers working on some projects deploying those projects uh, open to people and uh, Contributing yourself into currently like uh, the open work on IOT use cases So that can make you an expert in that case Is IOT technology will be related to robotics process automation tools to capture data to auto respond to IOT RPA uh, You see RPA is kind of more uh, AI based stuff and uh, like automating st based stuff now iot is going to create data for rpa you can say like that iot is going to make devices create data which can again then be used by uh, rpa based tools like automation anywhere or blue prism to take better decision or to design better systems there's a question telecom people uh, work main application layer and uh, yeah minimum application layer and all of the layers but the work is mostly monitoring and recording data will these people lose their jobs or uh, you can say telecom is one of the biggest uh, job creating field into iot use because currently like uh, even like geo and uh, this idea telecommunication a telecommunication already started creating wide area networks of uh, lora and wide area networks of connected things connected objects because these these are the key people which are going to make the things more connected so telecom people like most of the jobs which are going to come into telecom is like data creating data connect i mean capturing monitoring connecting devices making connectivity much better more efficient okay so those sort of things are going to come up and tele there are more opportunities going to rise into telecom sector compared to other sectors because of iot use cases there's a question what are the protocols and communication using connected cars can bus protocols and uh, like can bus protocols is one of the I mean important protocols which is used RS485 can and uh, Like uh, MQTT protocol So these are a couple of protocols which are used into that again DDS is used for to DDS protocol is used to just uh, match two different protocols again proxy servers are used in connected cars There's a question scratch to top complete IoT implementation consulting and installation business as a system integration Blueprint well that would actually take time so I can just brief you about that right now So yeah, so the part is like uh, complete system integration where do you start with that so you see like you first start with physical objects Okay, your physical device for example, let's say that you want to Create kind of home automation based system. So you should start with your physical device The physical device would contain a kind of programmable system with this programmable system you need to attach some sensors 
okay and uh, which can create data which can capture data, which can understand environment which can help you to understand environment and then with the physical objects you need to use efficient com protocols communication protocols this communication protocols can be used like in you can say wi-fi bluetooth lora zigbee okay and uh, you can say or any of them like any of them sigfox nfc any of the protocols you can use into this case so once after physical objects once you have the physical objects and device for example let's say that you want to create a kind of simple home automation based system a very scratch system or let's say you want to create a smart building management system or building management product or any any kind of product so let's say that if you don't even want to create a kind of collected car part okay so you need to first work on your device level the very first layer is going to be device layer or hardware layer so you need to use a kind of hardware or microcontroller or you can say a programmable system which can attach with your hardware control the hardware get the data from the hardware get the data from sensors and then for making the device connected you need to use any of the communication layer protocols after the communication layer protocol you need to use kind of ip stack ip layer protocol or mac layer protocol to give identification to each of them and then you come up with uh, transport layer and application layer transport layer is like tcp and udp and then application layer comes up is like uh, tcp udp is transport layer protocol like this is not something that is uh, very much necessary so you can work with directly with uh, like based on any of the transport layer protocol any of the application layer protocol to get data or to connect to cloud server so like currently we use sttv protocol but it is not one of the efficient one so don't use sttp like for iot what is su suggested is to use uh, mqtt protocol coe protocol okay and xmpp amqp these are all of options you can use any of them and then you come after this to cloud get your data on cloud so once you get your data on cloud from there you start analytics from analytics you deploy some web applications and mobile applications so this is going to be a complete uh, life cycle for it i hope this is something that you asking mr shah mr kumar which kind of demo you are looking for i couldn't get your point like in the webinar it was something most on the the idea and overview part so we'll try to include kind of any other demo in next coming webinars so we'll request you to stay connected in other webinars as well okay i really life cycle part and all okay sure sure we'll uh, try to include more uh, demos as well into next coming webinars uh, mr shah i hope i'm clear with your question let me know if you have any other question or something i asked i answered your question properly others let me know if you have any other questions so far in this part so far with your discussed if not then uh, i'll request all of you to stay connected with us and uh, i'll request all of you to explore more into this uh, part you can try exploring some more opportunities you can stay, try connecting uh, you can start exploring this i mean this you can try out uh, participating into this exhibitions or you can see consortiums and you can stay connected with us okay and this video of the webinar will be available on the youtube on our channel so you can get it from there as well and a link to this uh, document will also be available on our youtube channel so all of you with this part will be ending up the session today i hope it would have been somewhat fruitful to you thank you much for uh, for your time precious time here and probably hope to see you in next webinar thank you much bye bye